Hello everyone, Dynamite Gaming here, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about why I decided to buy the MetaQuest 3. I've seen a couple videos online of people giving reasons why you probably shouldn't upgrade, or you'll be fine with the Quest 2, um, and, and they're not wrong in a lot of the reasons they give, but in my opinion, for someone with my circumstances, upgrading to the Quest 3 was an absolute no-brainer. So the first thing for me, which is a huge deal, is the pancake lenses, which I'm sure is actually a big deal for a lot of other people as well. The visual quality in the Quest 2 is alright. Being someone that has tried on a few other headsets, you can really tell that it is a standalone headset. There's not really a screen door effect, but in my opinion, the pancake lenses, which by the way, I haven't really got to try too much of, but from what I have tried and what I have seen, they are phenomenal. So finally a headset that's wireless, that will have pancake lenses, and even better quality and better fidelity, to me, was something I absolutely needed for my VR experience. This biggest second reason, which ties into a little bit of the first reason, is double the processing power to help with my motion sickness. Uh, for me, I get really sick in VR. I tried to do a Bone Lab series. If you follow my channel, you probably have seen me absolutely struggle through that series. A lot of it, in my opinion, had to do with the strength of the headset when streaming from my PC, and also the quality. Um, the Quest 2 isn't bad looking, but when you're someone like me that gets a little bit of VR sickness, no matter how much you build up your sea legs, quality is king. Also, the refresh rate on the Quest 3, I think starts at 90 hertz, which is definitely an upgrade from the 72 that starts with the Quest 2. Towards the end of the Quest 2 for me, the higher the quality of the game, the more my headset was struggling to play it. And for me, it was a big deal because any sort of frame drops in VR or any sort of like distortion when you're looking at stuff can actually add to the sickness. So for me, this is probably going to be the absolute massive leap into being able to play VR more consistently. For me, it was something I'd have to play you know, for an hour to try and build my sea legs and put it down for a day or two. I have, unfortunately, I would say somewhere between mild and severe VR sickness. So for someone like me, clarity and com comfort is definitely a big deal. And the last reason I think is a little bit less surprising than the other two, the new mixed reality that comes with the Quest 3 is pretty much something I've been waiting for since VR was announced. I really think AR is neat, but I really want to experience that in the headset, in VR. Um, they're obviously going to have a bunch of new games made just for the Quest 3 that take advantage of the full color pass-through. This is just a big game changer to me. We are experiencing the first stage of this, but I can only imagine the types of games and ideas that can be thrown in with it. And I don't know what games you guys are excited for, I've been really looking forward to that Assassin's Creed game. I really get, want to get my hands on that. I did play the original Asgard's Wrath. I didn't complete it, but I played probably 15 to 20 hours of it. Probably the longest I played of any VR game. So am I excited for Asgard's Wrath 2? Absolutely. I want to see what they do with the new hardware. So those are my three biggest reasons why I'm buying the Quest 3. I thought it was really important to point out the first two because, I don't know, people seem to overlook the, the sickness Part of it along with the pancake lenses these are absolute game changers guys the field of view and the sweet spot is going to be so much better and obviously my third reason is really cool but the other two are the biggest game changers for someone like me who wants to jump into vr more comfortably let me know what you guys think are you buying the quest 3 what games are you excited to try on the quest 3 let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow my channel. I'll be doing a Quest 3 unboxing and also potentially a review and maybe even some gameplay. Stay tuned.